The Follower's Doctor is an idealist of the followers of the apocalypse. The typical do-good doctor build focused on helping others and not trying to cause harm. He's one of the few genuinely good characters that I've created so far and will pretty much be loved by everyone he encounters. His life was not always this way, however. The doctor was born to a junkie in New Reno. His father was the junkie's landlord who had been allowing her to stay in his flat in exchange for sexual favors. One of these favors, however, resulted in the doctor being conceived. The landlord did not want the responsibility of dealing with the child, nor was he attracted to the doctor's mother who would gain weight from her pregnancy, so he kicked the junkie and his now infant son out. Homeless, the doctor's mother resorted to begging and stealing to survive for a while, until she was caught by a gang member and brutally beaten to the point of death. She would have died if not for a random follower of the apocalypse traveling by, who interacted with her and saved her life. This random follower took pity on the junkie and her son and took care of them, bringing them along his journeys and even helping the woman cure her addiction. By the time the doctor was eight years old, this follower had eventually married his mother and served as a kind of stepfather for him, giving him a well-rounded education in fields like history, science, math, and even teaching him how to repair mechanical parts. The doctor was a child prodigy and learned extremely quickly, demonstrating a vast array of knowledge at just eight years old. However, his mother's constant drug abuse during her pregnancy resulted in him having physical defects, and the doctor is extremely weak physically and suffers from poor eyesight as a result. Eventually, they settled down in a small farming village, with the stepfather serving as the town's doctor. Unfortunately for them, however, the village was massacred by a tribe of raiders, and the doctor's parents were killed as a result. The doctor himself was enslaved by the tribe and, after they realized his incredible knowledge, put him to work manufacturing chems. After a couple years of this, the doctor was trusted enough to wander around as he pleased and manufacture whatever he wanted. One night, the doctor spiked the tribe's moonshine with a sedative and fled during the night, taking an energy pistol off one of the sleeping warriors. The doctor knew that the wasteland was a horrible place, but recalled that the best person he had ever known belonged to the followers of the apocalypse, his stepfather. Therefore, he made it his prerogative to locate and join them. Surviving in the waste due to his years of tribal knowledge, he eventually made his way to the boneyard and enrolled in the followers university. Besides being an incredible student, the doctor radiated with charisma and was always found with a group of friends in some way or another. He was seen as the leader figure among the students, always settling fights between groups and serving as a role model for others to emulate. The doctor graduated as a full-on follower's doctor and was sent on journeys all across the wasteland. He traveled across the NCR, seeing the corruption rampant and the struggling of all the people there. He visited Colorado under Caesar's legion and even traveled to many tribal areas. Despite all of the evil he encountered, he never lost faith in the beliefs of the followers, remembering his stepfather who had saved him and his mom's life when they had nothing. Eventually, he made his way to New Vegas, hearing of the conflict there and wanting to save as many lives as possible. While on the way, he took up a courier job to raise enough money to support a medical practice, and also because he believed he could help people while traveling. Eventually he was shot in the head, and you know the story from there. In terms of character stats, we've distributed them fairly based on the Doctor's backstory and roleplaying. For his special attributes, the Doctor will have 3 Strength, 3 Perception, 3 Endurance, 10 Charisma, 10 Intelligence, 1 Agility, and 10 Luck. In terms of traits, 
He'll have four eyes, which means he'll have better perception when wearing glasses, and good-natured, since he is good-natured and prefers non-violent skills. His major skills will be medicine, science, and speech, and his minor skills will be repair, energy weapons, barter, and survival. We recommend you level up science as soon as possible so that the doctor can repair Eddie as soon as he gets to Prim. His essential perks will be intense training at the 10th level, and this should be distributed to level up your stats, mainly endurance so you can get the implants. Educated, which you should take early on for more points. Voracious reader, so you can improve as many skills as possible from reading, and it fits into the roleplay build. Computer Wiz, again, fits into the role-playing and is super useful for hacking terminals. Robotics Expert, again, fits in with the role-playing and allows him to disable robots. And Jury Rigging, which allows him to repair anything easily. In terms of weapons, you should carry something light since you won't do much fighting. Either a Recharger Pistol or a Plasma Defender. And for endgame weapons, we recommend Pew Pew and the YCS-186. In terms of armor, you should wear a Wasteland Surgeon's coat for most of your gameplay, and once you join the followers of the Apocalypse, get a follower's lab coat. For the final battle of Hoover Dam though, we recommend wearing the Ganon Family Tesla armor, but you shouldn't really wear it outside of the battle because it's not part of the role playing. In terms of implants, you should get all of them and become a cyborg in the Old World Blues DLC. Whatever physical attributes the doctor lacks at, he can easily make up for with implants. Necessary for this build is the JIP Companions Command and Control mod, which revitalizes the companion system to be way better than the base game, and it allows the player to have multiple companions. The link is in the description. In addition, this build requires all DLCs so that you can experience all Fallout New Vegas has to offer, and roleplay the good character that the Doctor is. In terms of gameplay, the Doctor is a devoted follower and will try to avoid combat as much as possible, but when necessary, he is able to fight and carries energy weapons alongside having hardened companions who are super loyal to him. He will make use of chems, particularly stim packs, and try to save the lives of and help as many people as he can. He also has survival knowledge due to his tribal upbringing, and will be fine to make food and survive long journeys in the wasteland, so make sure you enable hardcore mode for this build. After being shot in the head, the doctor will help the town of Good Springs in return for saving his life. He falls in love with the environment of the town, not having any real leader or authority, but still being self-sufficient and existing peacefully. He wants the Mojave to emulate Good Springs, without any real leadership or authority. Seeing Good Springs reaffirms his belief in the followers' ideology, showing that people can truly survive and thrive without a government. He'll make his way around the Mojave, helping people as he travels by. The Doctor will, for instance, reprogram Prim Slim to serve as the Sheriff for Prim, and he'll help Novak by peacefully aiding the Bright Followers to achieve their journey. In terms of the main story, he will go for an independent New Vegas. He doesn't support the authority of the Legion or the NCR, and he doesn't support Mr. House either. He sees that House secluded Vegas from the rest of the Mojave, and allowed areas like Freeside to suffer in poverty, so views him as undeserving of the leadership. The Doctor will side with Yes Man and work with every faction to help set them on the right path, allowing New Vegas to be truly independent. He will also help destroy the Securitron army, as he doesn't want them to be used as tools of oppression, and he will destroy the Hoover Dam generators to prevent the Legion and NCR from coming back to oppress Vegas. The Doctor will try and complete every quest in the game, but will usually just turn away if it involves mass violence. For instance, he will help treat the wounded at Camp Forlorn Hope, and even help improve the situation at the camp, but he won't assist the NCR in retaking Nelson, as he doesn't involve himself in wars. When visiting the Legion camp, 
he will teach Siri how to make better healing powder in Return Melody's Teddy Bear. He'll convince Cook's powder gangers to surrender to the NCR. Think of the Doctor as the most angelic person in the Mojave, genuinely just trying to help people, but also an anarchist who despises any authority. He will obviously join the followers of the Apocalypse and help improve things in Freeside, aiming for peace with the NCR, and let this serve as a model for the rest of his gameplay. In terms of companions, the follower will have every single one and will complete all of their quest lines, generally picking the more peaceful and good option. For example, he'll convince Raul to settle down, Boone to make things better, Veronica to leave the Brotherhood, Arcade to settle down, upgrade Eddie with the followers, upgrade Rex with Ray's brain, and so on. You guys get the point. He'll choose the non-violent, more peaceful, and morally good option for each of the companions. His high charisma will also improve the companion nerve significantly, and his companions will fight very hard to defend him. Add this with the fact he'll have multiple at a time, and you can understand why the Doctor barely needs to fight. That wraps it up for the Follower's Doctor build. This is another fairly complicated and fleshed out build compared to the simple fighting builds. Comment below from what faction you want me to cover for my next character build. The options are the Brotherhood of Steel, Caesar's Legion, the Enclave, the NCR, the Great Cons, and more followers builds. Until then, enjoy the Doctor build and help bring peace to the Wasteland.